What's up everybody, Joe Mafia here with Master Life by Design and today I want to go over the show Undercover Billionaire which I think every entrepreneur should watch because I don't care how successful you are, if you're doing 7 figures you should be doing 8, if you're doing 8 you should be doing 9, if you're doing 9 you should be doing 10 and beyond. And so there's some great distinctions, life lessons, business lessons that I really think will stand out for you. And as my wife and I, we watch the show and we get indoctrinated and I was taking notes and I was just like, man, this is all so good and that people need to hear this because on this channel, you're going to be, we're working with high performing entrepreneurs. We've been coaching people for over 10 years in the space. And so you just start to see the patterns, but <clears throat> I want to share with you what spoke out to me and why or how it can help you. So I'll read you what I wrote down and then I'll give a little blurb around it, a little background or a little deeper distinctions around it, how it could be beneficial for you. And so if you haven't seen the show Undercover Billionaire, it's an awesome show. The second season's what is what I watched. We didn't watch the first season with Glenn Stearns. Um, he he did the first season, and I think he fell a little bit short. But the second season is with Monique Mosley, Elaine Kalati, and Grant Cardone. Malik Malat Malik Mosley is what I, I gotta pause this. I don't want any chirping on here. So she was married to Timberland and they're divorced now, but she has this big agency now and venture capitalists and uh, Elaine Kalati, she is a big real estate developer. She just totally knows her stuff. Um, and then Grant Cardone, the marketing and sales wizard of the marketplace. So um, <clears throat> I, I love Grant and that's what turned me on to the show. Um, so here's the deal. They get dropped in a city they've never been before. They have no contacts. They don't know anyone. They can't use their personal contacts. They get a new cell phone. They get $100 and a vehicle. And they get dropped off. And in 90 days, they got to build a million dollar business from $100 only. And so you might sit there and say that's impossible. And, you know, at first I thought it was like really a million dollar business, but they bring an evaluator in at the end to say, okay, here's what you built. Here's what we're projecting that it's worth um, based on where you are today. <clears throat> so I'm not going to give any spoiler alerts on what happens, whether they make it or not. We just know uh, that they go at it. So I would encourage you to watch the show, but hey, let's jump on in. <clears throat> the first one is, uh, the most important outfit you can put on is confidence. I think Grant said this because, look, it doesn't matter what you go into, whether you have something or you have nothing. All that matters is that you show up confidently. People feel that energy. That makes a difference moving forward in whether you get the deal or not, whether you connect with this person or not. And so confidence is so, you know, women, come on. See, confidence is sexy, right? We all need to wear our confidence. And the more you wear it, the more it becomes who you are. So I encourage you guys to work on your confidence. If you don't know how, <laughs> reach out, fill out the Copeland coaching application on the uh, description below and we'll get a coach rocking with you to build that confidence. Second one, Greg Cardone says, contacts equal contracts. I love this because everyone he meets in the show, he's always trying to hustle. He's always trying to close deals. He's always trying to make things happen. Contacts equal contracts. So the more people you can connect with in your space, whether they're buyers or whatnot, or even sellers in certain situations, real estate, <clears throat> you want to meet more people. The more contracts that you get, the more deals, the more money you make comes from other people. So you got to get out there. You got to network. Maybe you're an internet marketer watching this and you're like, okay, well, contacts equal contracts. Well, leads, you know, how are you connecting with your leads? How's your copy? Make sure you know your customer. Um, it doesn't take money. It takes courage. I love this one because a lot of people, courage isn't about having no fear. Courage is about having fear and doing it anyway. Maybe you're afraid to ask for something, but you do it anyway. And that's what goes back to the most important outfit you can put on is confidence. If you can ask in a confident way, well, <clears throat> all of a sudden you can make money. But money, it doesn't take money. It takes courage. The next one, most people are willing to help. Man, I was—I thought about this. I was like, this is an awesome belief. What if you believe most people are willing to help? I find that a lot of people, they have this fear that, oh, they don't want to help me or they wouldn't want to. And I've done this in my own personal. I've been 
investing in crypto and I'm ready to you know invest heavily in crypto because we're in a down market now but I wasn't on all platforms and I was thinking, you know what, maybe some of the guys that I'm in part of this group, maybe someone will jump on with me or, you know, send voice messages back and forth on Facebook. And I was like, man, what if I believe that they were here to help? And guess what? I asked and they did. Like so cool. So if you're investing in crypto, go in the link below for Blockify where you can earn money on your money. So on your crypto. So anyway, enough of that. Vulnerability is an, an asset. Now, what I, I like to say about this one, the reason why it stuck out to me <clears throat> is because if you're building a team and you can be vulnerable with them, that builds trust, that trust is an asset versus harming you. That does not harm you when you're vulnerable. Now, the biggest thing you wanna make sure is if you're working with a team, you have a team for that works for you and you're leveraging, you don't make them your garbage dump, right? You don't tell them all your challenges and problems, <clears throat> but you can be vulnerable with them on how you actually feel or what's happening with the business or where you're going. So being vulnerable can be a huge, huge asset. Um, a great Cardone has this saying, this mantra, this incantation affirmation. He says, who has my money? Who do I need to connect with? <clears throat> I love that. Who has my money? When you're thinking in business, right? Who has my money? You got to start thinking, you know, where are these leads at? Where are these people who have your money? Right? If you're, if you're on, you know, if you're a, a physical product, you know, maybe you're selling, you know, baseball equipment, right? You want to be at a baseball field. You want to be marketing to sporting goods stores that carry your stuff, right? Like, or carry that equipment. You want to find out who has your money and go get it. You know, I look at this when I, I coach a lot of coaches too, and they want to grow their coaching business. You got to say, okay, where's your, who's your target market, right? We get all that clear, but then they're like, who has your money? Who, where are those people? Let's go find them. Let's go get in front of them. Let's go get your money. It's your money. It's not their money. It's your money. You're getting the money for the value that you bring to the marketplace. You wouldn't be in business if you couldn't bring value. So if you're watching this, you bring massive value. I know that. Credibility is king, or you got to align with those that have it. <clears throat> in the show, Grant Cardone goes out and he's in Pablo, Colorado, and he aligns with one of the top business owners there. And his name's Matt. And he just, when he goes into deals or when he goes to talk to people about certain deals, he says, I'm working with Matt. He's using Matt's credibility. He's leveraging Matt's credibility. In fact, as a coach, people will say, well, what, tell me about you. Why would you, why would I want to hire you as my coach? And I'm not going to sell myself, but I just tell people, I was Tony Robbins' master or platinum coach for about eight years almost and so i can leverage the credibility of tony robbins to say hey here's where i've grown up i've been i did over seventeen thousand coaching calls in my time and a good portion of that was with robbins over ten thousand calls with with was with robbins so my credibility i'm leveraging of tony so to, or i'm leveraging tony's credibility for me at times and now as time goes on and my clients you know give success stories about our work because a lot of my business is about word of mouth that's the credibility that i bring for, or i get from them because well you wouldn't have referrals if you didn't help people get results right so anyway very humble by that <clears throat> turn your liabilities into assets. I love this. You got to look in your business, in your life. What are your personal qualities? Where in your business are there liabilities that you need to turn them into assets? So what do I mean by this? For example, if you don't have confidence, if you're afraid to ask for the sell, if you're afraid to say how much your contracts are worth or your services are worth, because they're talking about Grant and his business partner, Matt, in the show, they team up and start a marketing agency that they're like, hey, it's, you know, it's 10 grand, 10 grand a month. And it's like, if you're afraid to do that, that's an, a liability. That fear is a liability. You got to change that fear into an asset, which is confidence. When you do that, all of a sudden, the game changes. The money flows in. The business accelerates. The more value and more help you can provide the community. Um, <clears throat> you have to show up no matter what. Never quit um, and never save money. You got to get rid of it. So let me break this down. There's a point in the show where all the billionaires, they come in and they have to they do some things that they don't want. They're tired. They're questioning themselves. They're doubting themselves. These are billionaires doubting themselves, right? These are confident business people out in the marketplace that millions of people look up to. And 
They say you have to show up no matter what. The only person who fails is the one who quits. If you never quit, you're on that path. I can't tell you how many people I know in this last decade, <clears throat> they were not successful when I met them 10 years ago. And they're in a better place, but they're not anywhere where they need to be. And I don't look at them as a bad thing. I la actually look at them and I praise them because they're still going after what they want. They're not quitting. And I know over time they're going to grow, whether that's a rapid growth or little growth, but they never quit. And that's what I love. And that's what they're talking about here is you can never fail if you never quit. And then when he talks about never save money, get rid of it and, uh, to work harder for you. Grant Cardone talks about this a lot. It's like, look, if you have money in your bank account, you're wasting it. Like you're losing to inflation. Your goal is out to go out there and have it multiply. Get rid of it. Go invest it. Have it work hard for you. Even in the Bible, it talks about you need to go out and invest, multiply, right? <clears throat> I can't tell you for how many years I would just let, you know, five, six figures just sit in my bank account and looking for the opportunity and the right time to invest and this and that. And it's like, dude, get it out of your bank account. If you have money in your bank account, you need to get rid of it. Allow it to go to work for you. Invest it. And honestly, cryptocurrency right now for me, even though it's very risky in the wild, wild west, I am willing to do that. Now, I'm not going to go put a hundred grand into the newest thing that comes out and the newest project, right? I'm, I'm looking at like the main stable ones, Ethereum, Bitcoin, things like that, uh, ADA. So make sure you, if you want to make money, go ahead and click on that Blockify link, allow your money to make money for you. All right. <clears throat> That's what Grant's talking about here. He said, uh, I think this was Elaine Kalati. She said, always have control. And that is so huge. And it's not like you got to micromanage people, but make sure you're in control. You're the one leading. A lot of times what happens is we pass something off to someone to leverage, which is great, but we're not in control. We don't take responsibility for it anymore, but we need to make sure things get done. It's your responsibility and you got to take control of that responsibility for your business, your team, or for you to move forward in a rapid way that you want. I can't tell you how many times working with clients that they'd live at the effect of, oh, it was that person's fault or this person's fault, or this is why we lost, you know, hundred grand this quarter. It's like, no, 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 no. You're the one that's in control. You're, you need to be responsible for it. <clears throat> All right. Um, Another one, every interaction is important. I can't tell you in this show how many doors were open because they took each interaction so seriously. They had 90 days to make this happen. Every interaction is critical, whether they're someone that's gonna help you or you can provide help to them or if they're a doorway to someone else. And throughout the show, and even if you look back in your life, the reason you are where you are, you have the business you have or the success or the skill set, is because one door from one interaction opened to another, or maybe that one door actually birthed a whole new path for you. Every interaction is critical, and I have a belief that every interaction is for a reason. It's a reason, a season, a journey, or a lifetime in my life, life when someone crosses my path. So every interaction is important. <clears throat> Hard work builds confidence. If you're like, hey, Joe, how do I build confidence? We talked about the first one. The most important outfit you can put on is confidence. Work your butt off. You have to work hard. If you want to get ahead, if you want to build confidence, you have to do the work. The more you do it, the more confident you become. I mean, there's so many times in your life, even think of it as a kid, you didn't know how to ride a bike. My son just turned three a couple days ago. We got him a bike for his birthday. In the beginning, he was a little shaky. By the day two, he was riding like a pro. He was practicing and he got confident. He started standing up. He fell a couple of times because the training wheels were off, but off the, on the grass, but he built his confidence the more and more that he did it. So look, work hard if you want to build confidence. Next one. <clears throat> um, how do you make people happy? Bring them business. Look, if you're a business owner, you got to understand that the more you give, the more you receive. And the biggest thing that I like to do is I like to refer people out in my network. I want to bring my network business, right? Because they think of me. I don't ask for it, but they think of me. They send me referrals. In fact, I'm going to be doing more interviews on the show coming up here, promoting my friends, my network's business because of how great they do for their clients and the business, the empire, and the life that they created, the life by design that they live. I want to be able to share that with you on how you do that. 
Greg Cardone says, promote, promote, promote is something I always got to think about. It's like, hey, you got to promote your stuff. Can promote, promote, promote. And I'm sitting here thinking, <clears throat> gosh, you know, like I have all these clients that come to me. I'm limited on how many people I could take. I have a great team of coaches that love to help people break through and they're working with a lot of great clients. And I'm like, well, if I want to bring them more clients, I got to promote. I got to talk about how great our coaches are. I got to talk about how much training and knowledge they've done. I got to talk about how many breakthroughs we got, how many people got set free, how many people are making money and making deals happen. Our coaches are the best of the best. They are rocking and rolling. And so if you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one coach to help you break through and go to that next level in your life or your business, you may want to fill out that one-on-one -on -one coaching application down in the description below. All right, promote, promote, promote. Cool. Um, Opportunity is more important than money. <clears throat> Grant talks about this all the time in there. Opportunity to work with someone, to get in someone's back pocket, to be able to um, you know, strike a partnership, leverage your name, whatever it is, that's better than having money because opportunity can grow. Oppor money is only a substance, is only energy. It can only do so much. And so if you have these opportunities, you can create more money. Yes, I know money can go out and produce more money. That's what we talk about getting rid of it, right? But you wanna make sure that you're looking for opportunity, not money. That's a whole mindset shift. I'm looking for opportunities. I'm looking for other entrepreneurs that wanna hire um, my coaching team to come in and do the work so that we can run their coaching department for them, right? Like I am looking for those opportunities. I'm not looking to say, okay, where's my money? Like I, I am wondering who has my money as talk, Grant talks about, but I'm looking for those opportunities. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's see the next one. You got to get known. Grant talks about this promote, promote. You got to get known. You got to get people that he talks about. They create this business called wake up Pablo, right? And they talk about getting the intention of all the community. So you want to get people to know you. Who are you? What do you do? What are you about? Right? And we're about transformation here. We're about breakthroughs. We're about going to that next level in life and creating the life you consciously want to create for you and your family. So you got to get the attention of your customers, your clients, your network, whoever that is, you got to get their attention. Um, and then he goes on to say money follows attention, right? The more people know about you and the energy that you create around your business, all of a sudden people want to give you money, right? And that's why Master Life by Design is so exciting. And the clients that are getting their breakthroughs and they're referring us so many people is because, well, they, they see what we're doing. They see what we're doing on the YouTube channel, on our social media. I mean, we're not like, you know, spending a hundred thousand dollars a month in ads, but people love what we're doing here and so you definitely want to make sure that you get the attention of your community <clears throat> um you got to create your own opportunities and along that journey you're going to hear the word no look i wish someone told me this i know it's i there's a book go for no i learned in network marketing you you go for all these no's but <clears throat> i always thought no's were bad but if you knew know that no's are coming and you're okay with that, and that's part of the success, then you're just gonna be able to say, okay, it's just a no. I remember I used to take no's personally. You can't do that. You can't allow that. You gotta go out and create opportunities and be confident, create those opportunities, and you'll hear no along that journey, but just know that's part of the process. <clears throat> show, don't tell. Look, you can tell someone your vision, or you could show them your vision, right? I'm all about showing my vision. How can I show people what we're looking to create? You know, millions of people break through, creating their breakthroughs in their life, people getting free from their nine to five and building their own business. I'm showing people the lifestyle that they could have or they want to have, or those that have a better lifestyle than me, what's most important in your lifestyle, right? Because it's about your loved ones. It's about, like, I can't tell you how amazing it is to be a husband and a father. You know, we have this great life, but what's most important, if everything went away and I have my kids happy and my wife happy, that's what matters most. But we're never gonna get to that point because we're always looking to add value to the marketplace, right? So I'm showing people the vision. I'm speaking my vision. <clears throat> Ask yourself, what problems are you sol solving? What market, or uh, why should the market let you in? How is your business different? You gotta start thinking about those answers in your business. Don't chase the money, chase the opportunity. When you chase the opportunities, the money will come, right? Chase creating those opportunities. Most people, they chase money versus the opportunity. And it's a whole mindset shift when you do that. If you can dream it, you can ask for it. Worst they can do is say no. Again, the worst that someone can say is no to you. Um, 
Luck shows up to those who show up and look for it. You got to be looking for your success. Um, you can't just say, you know, I hope I hope I get lucky here. It's like, no, you got to show up each and every day and you got to look for your success and go out there and make it happen. Negotiate with knowledge. Um, bring it with the facts. You got to know what you're talking about. There's so many times in the show where I think Elaine uh, Kalati, she she can't reveal who she is, but she talks about how she knows what this is going to do and, and certain, in this case, measurements and processes and systems and evaluations. And she brings facts to the table. She speaks like she knows and she speaks with confidence. Um, so you have to bring the facts. And then when you are negotiating, you gotta know your worth and what things are worth. Otherwise, people will take advantage of you. I think Monique talks about this and then when she gets our, her first initial investment, and it's just like, oh, you you know, she could have accepted the offer, but she knew her worth, she knew her business value, so she said no. Um, <clears throat> let's see, this is a big one. You have to give back to get back. Monique was great at this. She was giving products away to the community. She was giving her time to the community, so she would get back. And it wasn't like a, she wanted to do it, oh, I'm gonna give because I'm gonna get it. She was doing it from the goodness of her heart and a pure intention, but if you wanna get back, something back, learn to be able to give selflessly. And that's a huge lesson. And a lot of entrepreneurs sometimes forget that. Um, not all of them, but some. Um, it's okay to lose your confidence sometimes. This was huge for me because, you know, as I'm building out the channel at times, I'm like, man, is this gonna work? Am I doing the right thing? Am I providing value? The numbers aren't growing like I want them to. And I'm just like, it's okay to lose your confidence sometime. And that permission slip has allowed me to become more confident. And so if you're an entrepreneur out there who's struggling or you've been through those moments, it's okay. And I love when they talk about this in the show. <clears throat> Offer people choices they do not want. Just offer it to them. What's the worst that can happen? Sweat equity is a form of equity. And people can just get paid later. You know, depends on where you're at and what life cycle or stage of your business. Um, don't get emotional in business deals. That's huge. Stick to the numbers, stick to the facts. Um, just don't get emotional. That's a big one. Money follows attention. Who who gets attention gets the money. Again, this goes back to promote, promote, promote. You got to let people know you have a business. You got to be in their face all the time and let, so that you can keep planting those seeds. Um, the uh, Let's see. The best no... Uh, no, no, that one wasn't going. Well, all right, wrapping up here. You don't need cash, you need connections. I think we talked about that, but that was a huge one. Use a mistake as motivation. Sometimes we make mistakes in our life. You can use that to defeat you or motivate you. Use it to motivate you. Um, you, let's see. Tell your story the best. Learn your story, tell it the best, refine it, fine tune it, do what you need to do. And then, we talked about money follows attention. Once again, I've wrote that so many times. Money follows attention. You gotta be promoting your business, whether it's on leads, flyers, internet ads, whatever, face-to-face, -face, whatever that is, you gotta be out there promoting, promoting, promoting money loves attention. And I took this from Grant Cardone, not from the show, but money loves speed. Money loves speed. I tell my clients this all the time. You gotta make quick decisions. If you wanna be successful, you gotta make quick decisions, especially if you're looking to grow your company or your personal income. So money loves speed. So I won't spoil the end and let you know who made it, who didn't, but go watch season two, even season one. I didn't watch season one, but I love season two with Grant Cardone. This was, there were so many golden nuggets from all three of these billionaires. Um, so I won't spoil the ending, but take some of these nuggets, go out there, apply them in your life. This is what spoke to me. There may be others. Hopefully something I use today spoke to you and you can implement this in your life, in your business to go to that next level or take the next step. But if you're finding yourself getting stuck, go in the description below, fill out that one-on-one -on -one coaching application so we can talk about working with one of our high performance coaches to get you to that next level. We have such an incredible amount of testimonials about people who have broken through worked a nine to five, broke free, found their ultimate relationship. They're now living their great, a great marriage. Um, their business is scaling, they're growing. They went, they're more this year than they were doing last year. I mean, just 
awesome numbers. So if that's you and you want to break through, let us know. Comment below. Go fill out that coaching application. Hit that like button. Give it a thumbs up, all right, for this video. And then most importantly, hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification on the side so you can get the updates. We're doing three videos a week so that you guys can be able to grow to that next level. Consciously create the life you want. I don't care where you are in your life. I know there's challenges. I know there's little hiccups. But there's also, for some people, there's these barriers. These, you know, It's a great wall that's held up for them. We want to give you some great content feedback. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and start kicking off some interviews that are going to provide massive value to all you high-performing entrepreneurs out there. One nugget can change your business. And the way I like to say it in coaching, one breakthrough can change your entire life or business. And I'm telling you, I've seen it over the last decade, over and over and over again. So guys, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Take those lessons, implement them in your life and business. My name's Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.